Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 Flows of Christmas where we are giving you the gift of healthy and effortless movement through small, easy to do changes that you can do any old time. So today we're going to talk about crawling. Crawling is a really important part of healthy body function. It creates core strength across the front of your body, uh, cross body, which is very important. So we're gonna start from a quadruped and we wanna first just get really comfortable and smooth lifting the opposite limbs lightly off the floor and then letting them land at the same time. My friend Clifton Harsky taught me that one. Let the limbs, the opposite limbs lift and land lightly. So we're gonna make this a progressively higher quadruped diagonal exercise and the goal is to keep your low back completely stable. In fact, one of the best ways to make this uh, more effective is to try to hold a tennis ball or at the very least a yoga block or a foam roller on the lower back to make sure you're not shifting side to side too much. If you find this very manageable, I'm going to have you come up off of the knees, still keeping that nice flat low back and you're going to start moving just the arms without moving the rest of your body. And then you're going to lift the opposites again. Once again, you don't need to go anywhere yet. It's actually better to get really comfortable lifting the opposite limbs and letting them land lightly at the same time in a stationary position, really paying attention to how it feels when your hands come on and off the ground. Because one of the other things to do with crawling that a lot of people miss is building sensitivity in the wrists and hands. Because these really should be a shock absorber. It's not always just about exerting force, it's about absorbing force nice and smoothly too. And this is gonna help with uh, when you do plyo push-ups or something more aggressive like that. So this is essentially the foundation of crawling. Once again, you want to try to keep the mouth closed. You want to try to keep the tongue pressed on the roof of your mouth. And you want to really be sure to disengage the neck from the shoulders by protracting the shoulder blades and pushing yourself away so you can lift yourself nice and high. Now, you don't need to crank your neck up here. You don't need to tuck your chin at your chest. But what I would recommend is that you're still able to do those neck movements. And remember, those neck movements are kind of like a little check to make sure that you're in a nice solid position. Now the last thing I want to teach you is how to structure this with a little crawl flow incorporating a crab position. So we have crawling now and you can and should move forwards and backwards as well as left and right. As long as you spent a reasonable amount of time getting comfortable moving those opposite limbs in a stationary fashion because you can start moving anywhere in any direction in very small steps as long as you keep that nice rhythm. And I would even recommend you try crawling with a metronome to see if you can keep pace, almost like marching in the military. So what we're going to do now to transition to a crab is we're going to lift an arm up, slide on this foot, and slowly come to a crab position. Now, you'll notice that this is a very similar transition to the one in five minute flow that goes straight into my thoracic bridge movement. Very similar to a sit out in wrestling. So this transition is very healthy for the shoulder and very good for building coordinated core strength. So the slower you can make that transition and then start doing those four point two point cross body lift offs again, moving as little as possible. If you start moving all over the place, it just means you don't have as good a control yet. And then you can work on those transitions. Once again, shoulders down, long neck, keep the tongue pressed on the roof of your mouth. Nice relaxed body position and keep pushing into the floor and be active with your hands. You know, we did such a good job waking up the hands the other day. I want you to really get a good firm contact with the ground anytime you're doing anything on the ground and use all your crawling as a great opportunity for that. Until next time, tag two friends who you think would benefit from this video and I will see you next time. <laughs>